So I want to talk about the debacle that's going on with crypto right now of FTX. Uh, before FTX, there was Voyager, Free Arrow, Celsius, Lunar. The, and then I'm going to wrap it into like sports card investor. I'm going to wrap it into alpha investments. I'm going to wrap it into various other people who are trying to sell you things and are paid to do promotions like sports card investor, um, Mojo Sports, I believe Card Collector 2. They all were paid by whatnot to go out, spend money at the Dallas Sports Convention. You know, it looked pretty empty in my opinion, but they gave them money to spend to pump up the market. Don't believe the hype. The market is still very, very, very soft uh, for sports cards, Pokemon cards, magic cards, whatever. Enjoy the hobby. I am enjoying opening packs. You know, packs have gotten very cheap for me. Two things happened. I got a distributor back. And secondly, packs themselves are just cheap now. The prices of these boxes are dropping almost every day. They are. Uh, you can buy a Fusion Strike from Amazon for like $30 for a Elite Trainer box. That's pretty good if you want to just open some packs for fun, right? Okay, let me speak uh, candidly. I also lost a lot of money. I covered this in a three and a half hour live stream titled I Am an Alpha Investment Lemming. I made many financial mistakes in Magic the Gathering. The main one being I bought uh, via buy list. I bought dual lands, moxes, lotuses, all these things. If you go back to my channel, I have proof. I, I It's all there. At the time, I thought, okay, buy list is, it's God. It's golden. I thought if I can get a price, if I can get the card price at buy list, I don't really have to worry. This tr turned out to be false, just like FTX where you have these huge finance channels, uh, Graham Stefan being the biggest, Andre, Jenka, Meet Kevin, Minority Mindset. Each of them were paid, a, I wasn't paid obviously, but each of them was paid a lot of money and these are supposed to be the smartest guys in finance, yet they promoted a Ponzi scheme called FTX and or FTX.us. It's just basically two different companies, same person owns them, same person bankrupt both of them at the same time. So in my opinion, it's two companies, but really it's just one management team, it's one person. And they sold it to their subscribers. They said, hey guys, look at all this amazing opportunity. I think Andre Kalinka, he sold like a credit card for Bitcoin, which is crazy. There's sign up bonuses and in high interest rates and everything was going to the moon until everyone lost all their money. And it's not just FTX, it is Voyager, Free Arrow, Celsius, Luna. Celsius is actually a bank that hates other banks. And then it turned out the reason they hate other banks was because it was not regulated and just steals your money. Like your money was gone from the very get-go <laughs> with that company. And the guy, these people are on the run. Do Kwan, Lunar, he's on the run. No one can find him. He's still doing interviews, but no one can find him. Uh, the South Korean government is looking. The guys who own Celsius, they're somewhere in Abu Dhabi, people think. Uh, one coin, no one can find them or can find a woman who stole those billions of trillions, whatever. I mean, at some point in time, it's just, the numbers are so astronomical. You know, a lot of these people, no one can find them or they're living in like just random countries that like are very poor. It's like, why are you living there? Like the FTX was the guy lived in a, $35 million mansion on the Bahamas, which the Bahamian government has now gotten. <laughs> they have uh, now, again, every government wants, a, they, they want a part of it, your money, right? All right, so what pisses me off is the endorsements. I think, as I made in my other channel, that when you get endorsed by FTX or you get endorsed by whatnot, you should disclose what they're paying you. So Whatnot gave you $50,000 to buy cards. Are they your cards? Are they Whatnot cards? Is it some type of commission split? What is that deal? I think right now YouTube is, they tell you that you have to say, oh, this is a sponsored video, but they don't tell how much money does this person get paid? How many people signed up? The more people signing up, the more money you get. The reason that people pay a YouTuber to endorse a product is their return on investment has to be very high, otherwise they would cancel that contract. 
So for FTX, all these gigantic YouTubers, they've been doing it for basically this entire year. According to CoffeeZilla, they were being paid a minimal, like smaller channels than these four were being paid 50,000 a month. 50,000 a month. And these were small channels. These were not these four. We don't actually know. It could be that these guys are being paid a million dollars a month to promote their credit card, a Bitcoin credit card, you know, to promote the FTX exchange. And this is the transparency. I think, you know, Lootbox TV talks about this a lot. Uh, in sports cards and Pokemon cards and magic cards, just like in crypto, it's the same people interested. I think there's a lot of overlap. A lot of these deals are not transparent. Um, like Sasha T's deal, for instance, if you read just the video title, you would think, oh, he paid a half a million dollars for a Charizard in cash. But in truth, it was only $100,000 paid in cash and 340 in trade, which he valued at 400,000. And that's how he got to the half a million. So I had to watch the video a few times to understand, okay, if it's 100,000 cash, 340 trade, how did we get to half a, why is the video title, title half a million? It's because the 340 trade in his mind was 400,000. Uh, a lot of magic deals do this. Vintage Magic's, Vintage Magic, the Black Lotus that was a quarter million dollars, the PSA 10, that was done in trade or trade in some little cash. The cash in many of these trades are not even the majority of the deal. I mean, it's just simply not. I witnessed them myself. Typically, it's very little cash and very heavy trade. Just like Sasa T, it's just like Vintage Magic deals. And then you inflate the price of that card. And then you pretend it's all cash. So I think there's a lot of transparency issues with I'll call him out sports card investor when he's promoting fractional ownership, when he's promoting like what, what, who, what did they pay him? When he's promoting that Mojo app where you're betting, you're, it's kind of like, you know, you're investing in sports players. What was he paid to make that video for them? What was the contract? Does he get paid a bonus if he signs people up? Uh, just like a casino, if the people he signs up loses more money or they put more money in, does he get a stake in the action? We don't know this. All we know is it's a sponsored video. We don't know the person is being paid for every person they signed up. We don't know if the person is being paid just like the casino model of stake for money that is being lost. We don't know any of this stuff. We don't know how long the contract is for. We don't know. You know, CoffeeZilla has a very, very good video about these people, uh, Andre Jenke in, in particular. I would never, you know, do a sponsored content. And then he's like trying to sell a Bitcoin credit card. I mean, it's like, sign up with my link, get $250 of Bitcoin for free. It's, it's disturbing, you know, honest to God, it's disturbing. And I think I need to be more transparent and it's embarrassing for me, right? I would love to say, hey, I'm, and I can say I'm the oldest MTG Finance channels. I've made claims to that from the new law student channel. Been doing MTG Finance on YouTube since 2009. No one else can say that. But I lose money like you guys. I bleed the same as you guys. I lost a lot of money in Magic. I lost a lot of money in Pokemon. And I probably lost a lot of money in Yu-Gi-Oh, but I don't know the game enough to know how much money I actually lost. Uh, I did buy some several, supposedly very, I mean, in my opinion, they're very good collections, but who knows. Um, I lose money in Yasha, I lose money in Fire Emblem. 